Email marketing is dead. Now this is um, an expression that you've probably heard banded around the last few years um, or that it's sort of alive and kicking and it's making a big comeback. Um, so the fact is email marketing was never dead um, and in fact it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So we've just got some stats here for you. Um, the unique number of email unit users worldwide is forecasted to rise to 2.9 billion by 2019. And 72% of people prefer to receive promotional content through email compared to 17% who prefer social media. Um, and as a result, obviously businesses are picking up on this and more than 86% of businesses surveyed indicate that they plan to invest more um, in email marketing over the coming years. Um, so how effective is email marketing? Um, you know, what are the statistics behind it? Um, Email generates more than four times higher return on investment than any other marketing format, and that includes social media, um, direct mail, paid search. Um, the Direct Marketing Association um, has calculated that for every one pound spent on email marketing, you get a return of, of investment 38 pounds. So that's huge. Um, the average order value of an email is at least three times higher than that of social media as well. And email subscribers are three times more likely to share your content via social media than those from other sources. So one of the reasons why email is so important, it is, it is your direct uh, communication platform between you and your most valuable asset, which is your audience. Um, remember, a lot of your audience will have subscribed to you. That's their way of saying, I'm interested in what you're saying. I'm potentially interested in buying for you. So you really shouldn't underestimate that. A lot of companies will put their time and effort into social media, and whilst the social media presence is very important, you shouldn't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, the reason being is you might have 10,000 followers on your social media platform, but you don't own that data, you don't own those, those names. Uh, Facebook does and Instagram does. Especially now, um, they're always updating their algorithms, deciding on what you see and how relevant your posts for them. So, Whilst you might, have, you might have selected, for example, your target audience and you've got 10,000 followers, they may never see your posts because Facebook might not deem your content relevant for them. Um, so is it too good to be true? Um, obviously, we've got some amazing statistics, um, but how, how easy is it to, to carry out good email marketing? Well, the first thing you need to do is obviously have um, a really robust st strategy. Um, and Helena is going to talk you through that um, shortly. Um, but I think it's important to um, consider that, that good email marketing is easier said than done because there are a lot of pitfalls that you can fall into. Um, I'm sure everybody has got their example of a company that maybe they've subscribed to, that they regret that because the, the emails that you receive are, are sort of either they've got bad grammar, irrelevant content, um, might be repetitive. They might email you too much or not enough. Um, and there's a whole host of reasons why, why you, would, you would regret signing up to, to someone's emails. And you know, the purpose of this session is to kind of give you the tools and the knowledge to essentially avoid these and ensure that you get a return on investment from your email marketing.